Hello everyone. Today let us know about the project SoftMart. So first let us extract the zipped file. Now you can see that the file is extracting and the folder SoftMart is created. So you can see inside the file there is one more zipped file again. Extract the same file and once it is extracted you can find the softmart folder and inside the folder you can see three folders that is backup database backup and softmart so in the database backup you have a sql file and in backup there is a template and in softmart you can see the php files So these are required to execute the program and let us copy softmart folder and let's paste this in C drive in XAMPP under htdocs folder. So let's paste this here. This is because I have installed XAMPP control panel in C drive. Wherever you have installed the XAMPP control panel, paste it in XAMPP in htdocs in that particular folder and Open XAMPP control panel and start Apache and MySQL server. So you can see that it is running now. Now copy the name of the folder softmart. So I am copying the name of the folder softmart. And let us open the browser now. So in the browser we have to type localhost slash softmart and click on enter. So this is how we will execute the project and you can see that there is some error that is failed to connect to mysql unknown database softmart that is because we have not imported the database so open the new tab and type localhost slash php my admin so this will take you to mysql server so this is a mysql server on clicking on databases here we can create the database so first we have to create the database name and the database name should be same as the database file whatever you have in the database backup and once the database is created click on import to import the file which you have in the database backup so in the database backup you have softmart which is a sql file click on it and import the file and then click on go and this might take some time to import the database so once it is imported you can view all the tables so now you can see the file is imported and you can see all the tables present in that particular database now click on refresh in the web page and you can see that the project is working and softmart is a project where you can download different apps as well as softwares which are for laptops computers as well as for mobile phones here the customer can download any of the mobile apps or softwares since admin is the one who monitors the entire web page now let us log in as the admin so the admin login is available in the footer and click on admin login and the admin can log in using the login id and password so once the admin logs in the admin panel is available which includes the category records software records customer records and here in view customer the admin can view the different customers registered in the web page and the admin also has the action to delete the details under view customer downloads here all the applications or the softwares which are downloaded by different customers on different dates can be viewed by the admin here under category records there are two options add and view the admin can add the categories to add the category admin must mention the category name and the image of the category must be selected and the description about that particular category must be given and the status must be selected as active and on clicking on submit the category record will be inserted under dashboard in category records under view 
here the admin can view the various categories available and the admin can also edit or delete these categories under software or app records here there are two options add and view so in add the admin can add the software or app name and all the other informations so here the products name must be mentioned that is the app or application which is being uploaded its name must be mentioned then under which category it comes must be selected then the description about that particular application must be mentioned then the icon of that product or the software must be selected and the, there are four slider options that is the other images can be added of that particular software so i am adding two more sliders and under software type whether it is a software or a mobile application or in others must be selected and status must be selected active and there is one more option that is download link so here under download link an apk file must be uploaded and this will be downloaded by the customers click on submit and the software will be inserted successfully so in dashboard under view in software or app records the admin can view the different softwares or apps available along with all its details and this can be edited or deleted so in home the now we can see that whatever is added by the admin can be viewed here and on clicking on view more it can be viewed more and different categories also can be viewed under soft store all the applications which are present in the web page can be viewed so let us log out from the admin the customers can download any of the softwares or applications and on clicking on view more they can view the softwares in detail and whether it is a software or application they can view and they can view the feedbacks as well as the reviews to download they have to click to log in the existing customers can log in using the login credentials the new customer must register to download any softwares for the registration they must mention their name their email id then their password and the confirm password must be mentioned then the address of the customer is required and the mobile number of the customer is required then the customer must upload their profile image on clicking on click here to register the customer's record will be registered successfully once the customer's record is registered they must log in using their email id and their password so once they click on register they are automatically after the registration they are redirected to login page and here they must log in using the email id and password once they log in they can download any of the applications they require so click here to log in and they can they have the customer panel where under update profile the customer can update their profile they can make any changes to their personal details and in my account under change password here the customer can change their password under view downloads and in feedback they can give their feedback and in view downloads they can view the applications which are downloaded by them and under different categories they can view the softwares and they can download the softwares there is a download link available and clicking on which the software will be downloaded you can see that the software is downloaded you can see that an apk file is downloaded under my accounts 
in view downloads here now the customer can see that downloaded the software named avast antivirus on this particular date under my feedbacks here you can see that there is no feedbacks from the customer on clicking on the software there is a option that is feedback and reviews so where click here to post feedback here the customer can rate the product as well as they can give their free feedbacks here so once the customer types his feedback and gives the ratings on clicking on post feedback the customer's feedback will be published and this can be viewed in the software so on clicking on the software under feedbacks you can view the feedback from the customer as well as the rating can be viewed and for the customer in my accounts in my feedbacks and comments also they can view the ratings and comment done by the customer so let us log out from customer so this is about the software softmart thank you for watching the video for further queries kindly visit our website thank you